Hi friends, it's Lisa Mears. Thanks for being here. In this video, I'll be sharing an unboxing of Scrap Diva Designs brand new release, which is packed full of some amazing dies for Christmas and winter. I'll also be sharing with you some cards I made with some of these items, and be sure to stick around to the very end where I'll make a few cards with you. If you're interested in any of the products that you see here today, be sure to use my code LisaMears when you shop for 10% off your order. And I'll have a link in the description box below where you can find these items. So let's go ahead and get started. This first item is called Gingerbread Postage Stamps, and you can see that there are little gingerbread men on these postage stamp dies. Next is the Baking Spirits Bright Word Die. There's also a rolling pin that is inside of the Word Die. You can use this with or without the shadow, and I'll show you an example in a little bit. Next is the Apron Mini Album Die Set. There is a large apron and a small apron, and you can use the large apron to make a mini album, or you can use it on a card front. There are more dies on the back, such as a rolling pin. There are also some dies that you can use for layers on your apron, and I'll be using this die set a little bit later on to put this apron together and make a card so be sure to stay tuned for that. There are also some small bow dies there at the top. If you like to put little treat bags together this die set is the Christmas bag topper die set. The design on here is a sleigh with some reindeer and it looks like there's a small and a large topper set here so you can put some little goodies in some bags and use this die for the tops of the bags. The next die set is the Picture Frame Memory Dex die. There are some smaller dies included here, which is a Christmas tree, a little house, and a word die that says, Let It Snow. The next die set is the Candy Cane Gift Box, and you can use this die set to make a gift box that's shaped like a candy cane, but you can also use the candy cane by itself to put on a card or make a tag, and I'll show you what I did with that in a few minutes. Next is the gingerbread bow set. So you can see everything that's included. There's even a little gingerbread man included in this set. Next is the Santa boot mini album. You can use this to make a mini album shaped like a Santa boot, but you can also use this to make a shaped card, which is what I did. And I'll show you an example of that in a moment. Next is the oven mitts set. There are three different sizes of oven mitts. There's also some bows that are included and some hearts that are included with this set. Next is the Christmas rosettes. So you can use these dies to make some rosettes for your Christmas projects. Next we have the coffee mug gift pouch. This includes a large shape coffee mug. There's even a face that you can put in here to build a snowman shape on the front of your mug. And then next is the gingerbread purse gift box. So you can use this to make a gift box shaped like a gingerbread house. So that concludes the Christmas and winter release, but I was also sent a few items from their fall release, so I want to share those really quick. This is the 3D pumpkin shaker bag. You can use it to make a pumpkin shaped bag, or you can even use it to put on the front of a card or make a shaped card. And then there are the Thanksgiving words, and I'll show you what these words look like here. I'll die cut. You have the words thankful for you. You can see that it's in a beautiful script font. You have warm hugs and give thanks. And if you look closely at the shadow layer, there is stitching on the outside of the shadow layer, which is really pretty. These are the only items I was sent from the fall release. So if you want to see that entire release, you can check out the link down in the description box where you can head over to the website to see that entire release. Okay, so here's a card that I made with the Santa Boot die set. I actually made a shaped card. You can use this to make a mini album as well. The die does include the poinsettia that you see here with the leaves and the little jingle bells. I will have a tutorial coming up here on my YouTube channel showing how I made this card, so be sure to stay tuned to my YouTube channel to see that tutorial. I also used the coffee mug gift pouch to make this adorable little snowman coffee mug. You can see that you can use it to put some hot chocolate inside or anything that you want. I also added a candy cane in here. 
I did die cut this out of some white glitter paper to make it look a little bit sparkly, but you can see you can put a little something inside of this coffee mug. Keep in mind that the little snowman face that you see on here is optional. You can use this mug without the snowman face, so you do have options here. And I do have a tutorial coming up on my YouTube channel for this project. So this is a little candy cane that I made with the candy cane gift box. I did not use it as a gift box. Instead, I made a little tag. If you want to see how this looks as a gift box, you can head over to the Scrap Diva website and take a look at the photos on there. I used the 3D pumpkin shaker bag to create this pumpkin shaker card. This is a shaped card. So you can see you can open it up and write a message inside. I used the Thanksgiving words on the front. I used the sentiment thankful for you. I did turn this into a shaker, although you don't have to make this a shaker. I did include the leaves that are included in this set, but the stem was something I just cut out of cardstock myself. That stem is not included, but super easy just to cut out on your own. Okay, so now I want to go ahead and make a few cards with you using these items. So I'm going to start out using the oven mitt die set. You can see all of that beautiful detail that is included on that oven mitt. So I want to go ahead and make one here with you. There are three different sizes of the oven mitt, so you can really pick and choose which ones you want to use or use all three. So let me show you how this die set works. I'm going to take a piece of red cardstock and I'm going to take one of the dies. This is the die that doesn't have an inside to it, it just has the outline. And I'm die cutting the red cardstock. You can see once that comes out, it's the shape of a oven mitt. But then I'm going to take this detailed die and just put it right on top of the oven mitt die cut that just came out of the die cutting machine. I'm going to use some mint tape just to tape it in place so that it does not move once I put this back through the die cutting machine. So let me go ahead and run this through one more time and this is actually going to put that really pretty pattern on the front of that oven mitt. So you can see that detailed pattern that's included there, all that stitching. It's so pretty. Next, I took this die and die cut a piece of white glitter paper. And these two pieces I'm going to layer together. But before I do that, I am going to add some ink to the edges of this red oven mitt because I want to just add a little bit of dimension to this cardstock. There's also this die that's included in this set, which cuts out these little strips of cardstock, which I die cut one using the white glitter paper, and I'm going to add this strip to the top of the red oven mitt. It just adds a little bit more detail here. Before I add that to the white layer, I am going to bring in some leaves using the leaves bundle that was released last year. I went ahead and die cut some leaves in some teal card stock, some of the white glitter paper, as well as some red mirror paper, and I'm going to add those on to the solid white glitter oven mitt layer. I'm just going to tape those down to that layer and then I'll add the red oven mitt to the top. That just makes them a little bit more secure by taping them to that background layer and then adding the red piece to the top. I am going to use some double-sided adhesive tape just because sometimes it's hard for my glue to stick to this thick white glitter paper so just adding the tape makes it a little bit easier for me to get that to stick a little bit better. I am going to cut off some of the stems so that I don't have as much cardstock between the layers. And now that I've added some tape to that white layer I will add just a little bit of glue now just for some extra security here. So I'll add some glue to the back and then press that down. So you just need to line it up. It will line up perfectly and you'll see that little white edge appear out of the top and all of those leaves I think make it look really pretty. So I am going to add a bow just to cover up the bottom of those leaves. 
So I die cut a bow out of some of the teal cardstock to bring out some more of the teal since I did use those in the leaves. I am inking up the edges just to add some more depth to that bow. And this bow is super easy to put together. It does come in a few different layers. So if you wanted to die cut it in a darker shade and a lighter shade of cardstock to add some dimension, you could. But instead, I just die cut it out of all one color cardstock and added some ink to the edges to add my dimension. I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on the back and add this to my oven mitt. I think this is turning out so pretty. I love all that detail. I will be bringing in a sentiment from the Christmas Cheer Word Dies. This die set came out last year. There's lots of Christmas words included on here, but I'm going to be using the Seasons Greetings. I find that this sentiment fits perfectly on the front of this oven mitt. So I just die cut it out of some of that white glitter paper and I'm adding it to the front of the oven mitt. Now I'm just going to add this to the front of a card and I'm going to put it on some pattern paper. I thought bringing in this gingerbread pattern paper from scrapbook.com would really fit the theme of the oven mitt. This pattern paper is so cute with lots of reds and pinks and browns and yellows in it. Of course, if you didn't want to use pattern paper, it would look super pretty and elegant on the front of a piece of white cardstock. But I'm going to be using this piece of pattern paper. It has all of these little cookie cutouts on it. And I just cut that down to 4 and 1 8 by 5 and 3 8 And I'm going to add my oven mitt to the front. And then I'll add that to an A2 size card front. So my card front measures four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And you can see a little bit of that white extending beyond the edges of the pattern paper. So that's going to complete my oven mitt card. And next I'm going to use the apron mini album dies to make a card with this. So here is the largest apron mini album die set. I die cut this particular die out of some white card stock. And I die cut the more detailed die that looks like a dress out of the red card stock. There are also some other dies. Here's a small apron die. I die cut out of some teal card stock. You can see that that will layer right there. And if you recall, this die set has a smaller dress die, which there's also a smaller apron, which I have die cut right here out of pink card stock. I don't have that smaller dress shown on camera right now, but if you wanted to take that smaller apron die and layer it up here, you can on the larger one. That's up to you. I'm not going to do that, but I just wanted to show you that's an option. There's also this die, which I die cut out of some more colored cardstock. So you can use this to add some more detail to this dress. So that would go right here at the bottom. And then there are some other dies. So this set includes some more detail to your dress. And I die cut this piece out of some white glitter cardstock. You can see that goes at the bottom of that apron dress. And then there's another piece you can put at the top. I think this looks so cute. You, if you wanted to use this just as a dress, you can. You don't have to use this as an apron, but again, you have that option because you have all of these layering dies. There is the piece for the waist. I die cut that out of some white glitter cardstock. And then you also have the dies for this little apron piece. If you wanted to add some detail to those, you can do that as well. So you have one for that larger apron piece and you have one for the smaller apron piece. This die set also includes some bows. I went ahead and die cut a bow with some pink cardstock. It also has a rolling pin. And I'm going to start out after I die cut everything, I'm going to ink up the edges using some coordinating ink colors. So using the mermaid ink from scrapbook.com, I'm inking up this teal piece of cardstock. And then I'll use the rock and red ink from Catherine Pooler to ink up this red piece of cardstock. I'm also going to ink up the edges of the bow and the rolling pin. And then I'll start putting this apron dress together. So I'm going to add the glitter cardstock, that white strip that I cut out 
add it to the bottom of that dress. I'm going to add this little waistline piece to the layering apron as well as the bottom part of that apron and I'll go ahead and glue that to that dress. Next I'll work on the bow and I did die cut this out of a lighter pink and a darker pink piece of cardstock just so that it has more depth to it. I'll add the smaller piece on top and then I'm just going to put a little dab of glue right in the middle and then I'll add that little a dot of cardstock there right on the top. So I'll add the apron dress to the white cardstock. And then I'm going to add that pink bow right off to the right hand side. So there is the dress and now I'm going to add it to a card. I am using a piece of the gingerbread pattern paper pad from scrapbook.com. I did die cut that piece of pattern paper with a stitched rectangle die. So it does have some stitching along the edges. And I'm using the Baking Spirits Bright Word Die. I die cut it out of black cardstock and I'm going to add it to the card. Now, if you recall that Baking Spirits Bright Word Die, it also had some layering shadow pieces and it had a rolling pin, but I'm not using that part of the die because I don't have room for it on this card. So instead I'm just using those individual letters and I'm just going to add those letters to my card front. Next I'll add the apron dress and then I'm going to use this rolling pin die cut that I die cut out of some light brown cardstock and I'll add that to the card as well. I'll add this to an A2 size white card base and that's going to complete this card. I think that turned out super cute. Next I want to show you how to use that Baking Spirits Bright Word Die with all of those layers. There are a couple of layering pieces which I die cut out of white cardstock and some mirror red cardstock. You can see the stitching that it puts on that second layer. And I'll go ahead and glue the red cardstock to the white cardstock. Next I'm going to add the rolling pin die cut piece to that red layer. I did ink up the edges off camera with some brown ink just to add some dimension to that rolling pin. I used some of the Spellbinders white glitter foam sheets to die cut the words making spirits bright as well as that little heart that goes inside of the rolling pin. I'll go ahead and add the heart and then I'll add the words. And I love how those words are going to add so much dimension to this die because they are cut out of foam. So not only are they gonna add some dimension, but they have a really nice, pretty, like glittery effect to them because that foam is a white glitter foam. I'm going to add a red heart right to the top of that white one. That heart is from the oven mitt set. I think that's so cute. But look how cute that word die is. It has all that stitching and the rolling pin. And with all that dimension, it just looks so stunning. So I am going to add this to another card and I'm going to include the oven mitts. On this one, I did cut out two using some light brown cardstock. I did ink up the edges. I didn't put the layering uh, piece underneath those oven mitts for this card. Instead, I just used one layer because I didn't have room for the other one because it did make the oven mitts a little bit taller if you use the other layer and I think these still turn out super cute without adding that second layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and add both of these oven mitts to my card. I will add the Baking Spirits Bright on the right side. Notice that I did use the gingerbread pattern paper from the scrapbook.com gingerbread paper pad. I think that goes perfectly with this design. And I did pop up the Baking Spirits Bright with some foam just so that it pops up a little bit and gives a little bit more dimension to the card. I will add a red bow to the bottom right side of the oven mitt and then I'm going to add this layer to a piece of red cardstock. 
And then once I add it to the red cardstock, I'll finish this up by adding it to an A2 size card base. I think this turned out super cute and I really love all of these new items in Scrap Diva Designs store. If you want to check out more, please use the link down in the description box below and the coupon code Lisa Mears to save 10% off of your order. So once again, here are all the projects that I've made with this release. I will have some more tutorials coming up here on my YouTube channel showing how I made the coffee mug gift pouch as well as that Santa boot. So be sure to stay tuned to my YouTube channel. If you're not already subscribed, click that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so that you'll be notified when those videos release. Thanks so much for watching everyone and have a great day. Bye-bye.